Hello everyone, my name is Jack Tu. I am a postdoctoral researcher working at Oxford Orthopedic Engineering Center at Andoms University of Oxford. I will be sharing a fast automatic bone surface segmentation method in ultrasound image without using a machine learning method. This study was a part of the project funded by Wellcome Trust and Oxford University Medical Science Division. 3D freehand ultrasound has been developed for years. This diagram demonstrates a system that reconstructs 3D volumes with a freehand scan. We now take a step forward, take a freehand ultrasound sweep, recorded the probe position with an external localizer, by performing the bone position segmentation in the image and register all the image in 3D space, we can build a 3D model. Furthermore, we can also use an external localizer to track human limb position in 3D and then take some sweep of the bony anatomy and track its position in vivo during dynamic activities. This can be useful for answering some clinical questions or fix experimental issues for example, the tracking patella position by Monk, which is very difficult to do with the standard settings in motion capture system, or tracking the hip position during a walk by Ja, which can eliminate artifacts from skin markers. Eventually, we will want to bring this system to a clinical settings. So a vital step is the ability to label bones in ultrasound image quickly, ideally to be in a real time pace if possible. Our previous method has three main steps, pre-processing, image masking, and local phase extraction. The pre-processing step enhances the age of the bone, and the masking step removes the less likely area to detect bones. Finally, the local phase extraction was using inverse fast Fourier transform to categorize local features. This step can ensure the quality. However, this calculation is rather time consuming. And this bottleneck is shared with the other researcher who's working in a similar field. Currently, many researchers have been trying to use machine learning method to achieve the same task. For example, 2D unit. This figure summarizes the result of different design of the machine learning models. As you can see here, the best result is ZF. This is Asnan's method, which used a fusion of local phase extraction in their training process. Although the local phase extraction guarantees the best result, it took around one second for one image. Therefore, the aim of the study was to remove the time-consuming function from our previous algorithm and assess the segmentation quality versus previous method and 2D unit. Here I'm showing our previous method in the present study. We try to remove the first and the third part of the algorithm. We remove these two steps and focusing on the bone shadow and masking. The new method has simplified process step, adjust contrast, enhance the edge and generate bone shadow followed by generating a bone probability map by combining these three images. So based on this bone probability map, we can uh, label the bones. And then the final step is to clean these noisy labels. For the testing, a Clarius Portable Scanner L7 was used, and the data were collected from two young volunteers on four anatomy features, greater trochanter, medial femoral epicondyle, medial tibia, and the radial tuberosity. The scanner we used has a series of presets, each of which highlights different features of the image. We are not entirely sure what actual effect we can see from these presets. After some preliminary tests, we decide to test one of the settings initially suggested for ocular examinations and objectively compare the result with a standard MSK mode. The example of two different accusation modes here demonstrates the potential of this adjusted mode could be helpful in bone segmentation. After data processing, we compared the performance between algorithms and acquisition modes. With two-way ANOVA, the comparison metrics were accuracy, which refers to the total percentage of correct estimation, recall, which refers to a true positive rate, specificity, which refers to true negative rate, precision, refers to positive predictive dice coefficient, 
shows the shape similarity. Finally, F1 score was an overall rating. For the testing against the machine learning method, a 2D unit model published by Ronenberg in 2015 was used. The training dataset was randomly selected, 235 images, and the testing image set was another 15 independent images. All images were resized to 256 times 256 pixels. The training environment was Python with a TensorFlow on a Ubuntu machine with a good level of GPU and CPU. It is worth noting that the image mask for training 2D unit was produced in a semi-automatic way. We used our previous method to generate an initial mask and remove the noisy signal manually before training. Here is the result of comparison between two non-machine learning methods. We should look at the chart on the left hand side first. The local phase method took 327.2 milliseconds and 335.4 milliseconds to segment one image acquired with the muscle skeleton mode and adjusted mode. However, the bone probability method only took 17.6 and 19.9 .9 milliseconds. The differences between acquisition mode was not as significant as the differences between algorithm method. Next, we should look at the numeric comparison on the right hand side. Unfortunately, although the new method we proposed is quicker, it only performed better than the previous method in recall metrics when the data was acquired with the adjusted mode. Apart from the quantitative comparison, we should also look at the qualitative result. In this figure, green lines represent manual segmentation labels, and red lines were labeled by the previous method, and the purple lines were labeled by the bone probability method, which is proposed in this current study. And here is the image acquired from another two anatomy features. In summary, we can see some missing bone boundaries in both methods and false bone labels in the bone probability method when a strong reflection occurred on the sharp bony surface. The next slides demonstrate the result of comparison with the machine learning method. From the qualitative comparison, we can see a similar issue as the last comparison. However, both methods achieve a similar level of quality. Similarly, in the numeric comparison, the bone probability method only performed better in a recall. In summary, the proposed new method did a good job in reducing process time. It saved about 330 milliseconds per image. It's about 95% of original processing time, which is a huge improvement. We do not compare the time performance between machine learning method and the non-learning method because currently they are running on a different level of hardware. Unfortunately, the new method was not better in terms of segmentation quality than the previous method. I would still probably prefer the previous method. Maybe we oversimplified the processing step. The local phase extraction seems to remain essential to get accurate results. We could try to introduce a general purpose graphic process unit to overcome this bottleneck or look for alternative algorithm. In conclusion, we have attempted to use a simplest steps to achieve the similar level of segmentation. However, we still need to find a balance between accuracy and processing time for the future work. The fast method might still be useful if it can be shown that the segmentation errors are reproducible as this will not affect the registration step of our development. We are open to apply for the other machine learning method, but it has to demonstrate the ability to produce a fast and robust segmentation result and to be able to run it on an inexpensive machine. Our future work will include identifying a better evaluation method, for example, validate own labeling against known geometry improving the accuracy of the algorithm, and finally replace some step in local phase extraction or looking for a quicker way, for example, a fusion network models. This is the end of my presentation. Once again, thank you for having me to present here virtually in this conference, and also thanks for your attention. 
I will be more than happy to receive any comments and further discussions in any format. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the conference. Goodbye.